Hi, and good day all of you. Sean Anderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble. Back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition today from Sweetwater here in Georgia. Mosaic Single Hop Hazy IPA. Sorry, my nose is a little congested right now, so hopefully y'all can bear with me. Uh, this is a... Uh, American IPA style. I'm not going to say hazy, but it's just an American IPA style. I'm drinking the champagne glass. Alright, threw it into the sink. It went to the sink, people. Don't worry. So, 6.2% uh, ABV. It's a... Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. That's not good. Poor little beer spilled. Uh, 6.2% ABV, uh, gets a 90 score on Beer Advocate and a plus score on, uh, gets a 3.8 out of 5 on, on tap. So give me one second, guys. Let me just clean up this mess here. I just did. That's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. I'll do that right now. All right, I had to do all that crap. I don't know why. Well, what the hell was I thinking? What were you thinking? Uh, yeah. I hope I just got to make this class here. I'm making a mess than I spilled. Anyway, sorry about that. So here's what the IPA looks like. Yes, I'm using drinking on a wine glass. So. Turo, Munich, and wheat. Malts along with, of course, the single hop mosaic being used, and um, sort of have a herbal citrus uh, appearance, or I should say, flavor, or, or sort of comes out of the nose. We'll find out in the taste what it is. So, uh, picked this up at uh, Total Wine in Brookhaven, saw it there. One of many breeds of Sweetwater owns. And again, folks, I'm just going to say it straight out. Sweetwater is not a local, it's not a craft brewery. Uh, to me, they're a big boy brewery, in my opinion. Uh, up there with Terrapin, another uh, Georgia staple. Of course, Terrapin owned by um, Molson Coors. Of course, people behind Coors Light and all that. And as far as Sweetwater, they're owned by a, a conglomerate that does um, herbal herbal and cannabis and a bunch of other stuff at Spear, I believe. And I think they're based in Canada. So just let you know, you know, they're not owned by themselves any longer. But been to the brewery uh, twice. I did a tour and I went there just to kind of look around. So I'll probably go back again once the weather gets a little better. It's okay now for February, but It'll get better by March, and I'll probably be going there quite a bit just to hang out, you know. You know, just look around, have some beer too. So here it is, what the beer looks like. Definitely the citrus and it hits the nose right away. Maybe it might help me with my nose. My nose is a little stuffy. But that should be all be taken care of sooner or later. Taken care of soon, I should say. <sighs> so here we go. Nice and nice sort of aromatic, definitely so. Let's have at it. Cheers. I think I. So this is a uh, limited release right now. So I think this is out right now. Um, so this may go into the spring season. And it'll probably be taken out of rotation. It's a possibility. Probably will be taken out of rotation. So. I just got in this a while ago. So I had to. It's outside. So I said, let me go ahead and do a review. I'll do something fun. Review. Definitely has that hazy look, as you can see in the glass, but sometimes it's kind of good just to use one hop in an IPA instead of using all these different hops, you know, you know, 
the ones that well known so like like Mosaic, but also would share it with Centennial, Cascade, Amarillo. See that Jay? I'm not saying if you're watching Jay, Terrio, and others, I'm not saying Armadillo. But I have said it before in the past, but uh but Amarillo, uh Cascade, Centennial, Citra, uh Azka Az Azka type hops that are usually well known. Um so just sometimes it's good to maybe just use maybe just one or two hops or a single hop for a beer, for a night, for an Indian pale ale. And that always works the best, so. Very refreshing, and I don't feel that 6.2%, which is quite uh, the same ABV as their other offerings. The, of course, the original IPA that they have in the yellow can or the yellow labeling, if you drink it out of the bottle from Sweetwater. And... Um, I think they're hazy. I believe it's also 6.2%. So, so those two definitely use a lot of hops. But um, they're using... Now, the hazy thing, craze, it, again, this style has been around forever. I think the success of... What is another hazy IPA that's been really popular? Uh, I guess it's the success of... Uh, well, then again, actually Streetwater's own hazy IPA that they have. That that was been a hit that everybody's been trying to duplicate or copy other breweries. Um, New Belgium has a hazy IPA as well. Um... I'm not going to say Bosun, but, you know, if you look at the Trader Joe's beers from Rylander, Bosun, that also um, is hazy. That's also popular, more so price-wise than anything. Uh, yeah, I think probably been those two that have, that have stood out, but... Um, but those two hazy IPAs that I mentioned have had, you should probably, not only Mosaic, but they've had other f hops that have been in there, you know, added to it. So, um, it definitely, I'm getting that, uh, it definitely, it, it does it does have the, a maltiness to it, which which is good. A slight bitter, slight bitter, which is also a good thing for IPA. When I say that, people think, oh, bitter, ugh. No, it's not. Not a bad, not a bad thing. So, and is a bit piney as well. So, also not a bad thing too. But this is good. Uh, Six point two percent, pretty light, not overly heavy. I would look at this, and people say you're crazy, but I'd look at any IPA or any pale ale or any. The way I look at stouts. You know, if you're 4.5 up until, you know, up until probably until you're up to 7%, I consider those, you guys are session IPAs. And this, to me, in my view, is a session IPA. Not just the, yeah, what, what are you talking about, Chris? You know, well, you look at all-day IPAs and the two-hearted locale from uh, Bell's, <clears throat> but even Scofflaw. Scofflaw, they have their locale, uh, the basement, which is they have a locale or sort of a session IPA as well. Um, the, the, you know, any ABV that's under four, in my opinion, up until seven, though I consider them sessions. I just do. There's light, and this is as light as it gets to me at 6.2%. You're out of your mind. No, I, that's just how I feel now. You go to eight and whatever, and then that's big boy IPA. Imperial ones are the ones I really like. <laughs> but overall, you know, 
this is this is quite good. I think they did a good job. Of course, we all know Sweetwater, 420 Pale Ale. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, their IPA, the Blue, the Hazy IPA. Um, they have an almond milk stout, which is also really good. Um, if you're ever in the Atlanta area, I do recommend go visit the brewery. It's really nice to do tours, but also the whole atmosphere setting, especially during the winter, the spring season. People are out, you know, with the dogs, and you know, there's there's like a little little park, a little area. You know, people just hanging out, just talking, having a beer, and enjoying themselves. You know, so um, it's a it's a nice little spot to visit, and I, I've been there twice. Definitely plan on going back again this this time around once the weather gets nice. So um, yeah, uh, I think they really did a good job with this. Uh, very light, very refreshing. Six point two percent. Yes, I said very light, refreshing. So I'm gonna go with the score of eight point eight. So that's eight point eight. Yeah, that's fair. Eight point eight. Change cans glass right there. 8.8 B plus borderline on A minus for the most sweet water mosaic single hop hazy IPA. Check it out if you're in the Atlanta area or anywhere. Try it. You may like it or may not, but oh well. John Anderson here, the beverage round with Tim. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Hazy mosaic. Mosaic. Hazy IPA. Oh yeah.